Welcome back for another round. Today, we got a check engine light for you. That's gonna be a good one. Truck's having some starting issues. That's also got a check engine light on. Let's see if we can't figure this out. All right, so the code I was given was 5571-7. Pressure limiting valve staying open. So, you know, right off the bat, check for multiple codes. Yeah, we know that. There weren't any other codes to go off of. So we're gonna jump down here. We're gonna start the engine and find out what the fuel rail pressure is. If it's above 900 bar, we're gonna check for some damage. If it's below 900 bar, well then we're gonna replace the pressure limiting valve. So let's go over here, open up diagnostic link, and we're gonna check out our fuel rail pressure, 400 bar. So we are below the 900 bar. And since it is, we're gonna go ahead and replace the pressure limiting valve that is in the fuel rail, the back of it. Just remember though, when you're gonna do this, you're gonna to wanna to let the truck sit 10, 15 minutes and just let that fuel drain out of the, uh, the fuel rail because you don't want anything under pressure. Or you can even look on the computer and see where the bleed off is and see if it's still under pressure because you wanna do it safe, you wanna do it right. You know you gotta hustle, you know you gotta grind, but let's do it right. So here we have the pressure limiting valve. This is what it looks like. There's the part number for you. Just a little screw on valve. I'll show you where it goes. So, here's your fuel rail. Here's your fuel rail pressure sensor. Look at the back of the rail. And it is that little guy right there. So, we're gonna take an 18 millimeter wrench and just back that off. But all we gotta do is unscrew it out, and screw the new one in. Remember, let the truck sit for about 10 minutes and let that pressure bleed down. And then it's safe to do. Can't really hold the phone and do this at the same time, so you get the idea of using a wrench. So here's the old one. You're not actually gonna see anything wrong with it. Just so you guys can see what it looked like when it came off. We gotta make sure that o ring's still on there, and not stuck on there. But that's it, it just goes in there in a little threaded port. Drains out a lot of, uh, a lot of fuel too. So, after we replace the valve, open up diagnostic link. We're gonna go to fuel system. We're gonna go to pressure limiting valve change. We're gonna go ahead and reset the learned data. Yes, for sure. I'll close it up. Make sure we clear codes if there are any. And you should be good. So after that, you're just gonna run the truck, uh, make sure the fuel system is primed, and we're gonna make sure there's no more leaks. If that's all good, then you guys are good to go. Get your next job, make that money. See you guys.